It isn't a baby. I can say it. It's ugly. Louis Vuitton just bought the ugliest diamond in the world. It's bad. I'm nationally award-winning jewelry designer, Jill Maurer, and I talk a lot about jewelry on my channel. I also talk about design, including luxury handbags and living well. In today's video, luxury handbags and jewelry kind of collide. Louis Vuitton has just bought what is being billed as the second largest diamond in the world. It was discovered this past April of 2019 in Botswana in the Caro Mines. It was named the Suelo Diamond, which means rare find. It is 1,758 carats, and it's roughly the size of a baseball. This is a poor quality diamond. Here's how Lucara, the owner of the diamond, describes it. It's near gem quality with domains of high quality white gem. Near gem quality means not gem quality, which means industrial grade. This diamond is so ugly, it's hard to tell if there is anything of value within the stone. Take a look at this diamond. Here it is with the light shining from behind it to really show it off. It's ugly. It was discovered in April of 2019 and not purchased till now. Why is that? I think they really didn't know what to do with this diamond. It's not a gem quality diamond, so what do you do with it? The same mine had another high quality large diamond that they did put up for auction, but this one's a little iffy to put up for auction because it's not gem quality. It's not really going to be a gem buyer per se. So who are the likely candidates to buy this stone? It just isn't going to produce fabulous gems and be placed into crown jewels like the Cullinan diamond was. This is a different animal. One potential use is it could essentially be a billionaire's paperweight. Somebody could take the diamond and create a display for it, some sort of stand or plinth or something to show it off as an object of art. It has some notoriety, it is a big, diamond, albeit not very high quality. So that would be one use for it. Another use, if you were gonna make it into a piece of jewelry, it would sort of have to be the right person. We're talking about a rock star or somebody who's in on the joke, you know, who knows. I've got this big baseball thing on my chest or on my neck and I know it's not high quality, but it's big, it's got notoriety and I have the money to buy it. That could possibly be a use. Not sure about that one. The Suelo diamond is so bad that I'm not clear on why they're even calling it the second largest diamond. They are. When you read the reports, they're saying it's the second largest diamond, only the Cullinan diamond is bigger. That is not strictly true. We think of the Cullinan diamond as being the largest diamond in the world. It is not. It is the largest gem quality diamond in the world. There was a diamond that was found that was larger. It was slightly larger than the Cullinan diamond. It's known as the Sergio diamond, but it was not great quality. It was of industrial quality as well. And that diamond ended up being chopped up into little pieces that were used as drills in industry. That's how industrial grade diamonds are generally used. So people always say the Cullinan diamond is the biggest diamond in the world. That's not the case. It's the biggest gem quality diamond in the world. The Suelo diamond is not the second largest diamond in the world. It's at least the third, because if you're going to count the Suelo, you're going to have to count the Sergio. So now you have it as third, but I'm not even convinced you can put it in there. The Suelo diamond could easily have gone the way of the Sergio diamond. It could have been cut up into small pieces and used as industrial drills until Louis Vuitton stepped forward and said, hold my speedy. Louis Vuitton is uniquely qualified to sell a huge crappy diamond. After all, this is the company that can take coated canvas and make a bag and sell it for $3,000. And I'm not dissing that, that is quite the skill. Not everybody can do that. Props to them. Full disclosure, I may be a jewelry designer, but I am also a handbag lover. And this is my friend, Bobster92, here on YouTube. I will link his channel below. I myself have been known to drop some serious money on a Louis Vuitton handbag. So pot, kettle, I get it. But because I am a handbag lover, in addition to being a jewelry lover, I really get it. I get how Louis Vuitton can make this happen, and I get why traditional jewelry people are going, why is this happening? <laughs> this should not be happening. This thing should not be made into jewelry. 
The diamond is so bad that it's hard to see in it. They've taken that one little white spot and they've put lasers in there and they've tried to see if they can tell what's in it. It's very difficult to do. Michael Burke, the CEO of Louis Vuitton, is saying that they're not going to cut the diamond until they have a buyer for it. I don't get that. I don't see that happening because it's so hard to tell what's in this diamond that I don't know who would commit to buying it and having it cut without knowing what was in there or having a better idea of what was in there. And the fact is that Louis Vuitton doesn't need to know. They can cut this up and they can make money on it no matter what. If they cut it up and they find that there are some spectacular pieces in there that are high quality and they can get a little something something out of that diamond, that's great. That's like winning the lottery for them. But even if the whole thing is industrial grade, Louis Vuitton can make money off of that. They know how to do it. They've got the marketing machine and they have been making a lot of money on things that have no intrinsic value whatsoever. Why should this be any different? An industrial grade diamond has a lot more intrinsic value than a piece of canvas and Louis Vuitton is doing amazing things with a piece of canvas. It isn't just a crappy diamond, it's the crappy diamond. Okay, they'll work on the messaging. This is the perfect artificial rarity setup for a company that is the master of artificial rarity. There is no reason whatsoever that a Louis Vuitton Toiletry 15 should be rare. It should not be hard to find. They artificially make it hard to find so that you will want it more. If Louis Vuitton wanted to put Toiletry 15s on every grocery shelf across the planet, they could do it. All Louis Vuitton has to do is cut this diamond into little pieces. They could even slice it if it's all industrial grade because the reason that you cut a diamond the way that you do is you want the light to come back out of the diamond. You want all the light to go in and come back out. That isn't gonna happen with a crappy diamond, so there's no point doing that. They could just cut it in slices, which would give it the biggest look for the weight, and then create a collection out of it and call it rare. That is Louis Vuitton's artificial rarity play with the Suello diamond. You can find diamonds of higher quality. Okay, every diamond in your local jewelry store is of higher quality, but they didn't come from the one and only crappy Suello diamond. The exceedingly rare and oh so expensive Louis Vuitton Suello collection lets you own a piece of the second largest, third largest, can we even call it a diamond if it's industrial grade, collection. Okay, they'll work on it.